Welcome to the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council's Fish Forever podcast about sustainable fishing through effective stewardship in the U.S. Pacific Islands. In this episode, we take a look at how evolving technology has changed the way to catch fish in American Samoa and elsewhere. In American Samoa, natural materials that were readily at hand were inventively applied to catch enough fish to feed a village. When the Matsari uh, know that uh, the, the coolies or, or the singers coming uh, over in the reef, they call the manga and get ready, prepare the, the lau. The community would quickly organize to build a lau, which was roughly similar to Hawaiian-style huki lau net. Hundreds of palm fronds were tied together to form a barrier net that was hundreds of yards long. What we see here is just a small demonstration version of the traditional Samoan lau. When it was ready, the villagers would strategically drag it out into the water. The idea was to get the line of palm fronds on the seaward side of the school, then use it to push the fish towards shore. This barricade, usually worked by fishers working elbow to elbow, was steadily drawn into the shallow water of the bay, herding the school toward the shore, where they could be easily speared or scooped up. Eventually, natural fibers were replaced with synthetic materials that were lighter and easier to handle. Many fishers quickly adopted gill nets made of monofilament. Gill nets used to be made by hand. Thousands of knots would be painstakingly tied one by one to make a single piece of net about 100 feet long. Today, they're made by machines. These monofilament nets don't need a lot of people to handle them. This is a huge difference from the traditional Samoan lao that required dozens of people to deploy. That's all it takes to get a boatload of fish in just a couple of hours. Just as newer materials made fishing the inshore waters more effective, mechanization and advanced synthetic lines have increased the range and scale of fishing. Fishers in American Samoa have adapted techniques used by industrial longline fishers. They bait and drop hundreds of hooks along a heavy monofilament main line to catch pelagic fish out in the deep blue. We take uh, 8 to 10 miles of the, uh, the main lines. So we use the 700 pound test on the main lines and we use a 250 pound test for the hooks and a snap. It's not easy you work to do, it's really difficult and uh, risky sometimes, you know. But I'm really clap myself because, you know, you can see American Samoa, especially this island, is only mountains, and trees, you know, lots of trees and rocks. This is the only future of the uh, American Samoa. Older fishing methods are often part of the tradition and culture of indigenous communities, which recognize the need for sustainability. By necessity, they support and practice effective coral reef management and conservation so they can enjoy their local fish forever. Please join us again for another Fish Forever podcast, brought to you by the Western Pacific Fishery Management Council.